Okay, we're live. Ready? Mm -hmm. Welcome to night seven of a Dog Father's Christmas. Roxy, bring up the case. You got it tonight? Don't drop it. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is what we've been practicing. You got it? You got it? Ooh. What are we reading? Tonight we're reading um, All of the Other Reindeer. Something like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Right? Alright. You ready for it? This is by J. Otto Siebold and Vivian Walsh. <laughs> My fault. All right. Come on now. Illustrated by, okay, J. Otto Siebel. Perfect. Every day, Olive took her daily dog walk. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. Today was a winter's day. It was the holidays. There was music playing outdoors. People were singing along. All of the other reindeer. Olive was too shy to sing. <laughs> she hummed. Back at the, her doghouse, Olive was wrapping presents and listening to the radio. She heard that same song again. All of the other reindeer. Went the song. All of the other reindeer. Olive sang along. Olive the reindeer, said Olive. I thought I was a dog. Hmm, I must be a reindeer. It was the time of year when all reindeer reported to the North Pole to help Santa Claus. Olive put down her scissors carefully and marched out the door. She took one bus and then two buses. They're my kind of pages right there. A lot of picture. A lot of picture. Eight words. You gonna make it tonight? Are you already bored? Are you already bored? You are? You don't have to say if you don't want to. I can read to some other kid. She just got she got there just in time. Santa was checking his list for the second time. The elves were busy helping the reindeer and loading the sleigh with presents for all the good girls and boys. Everyone was getting ready to go. What? Oh. Olive took her place. Santa noticed that there was a little dog in the lineup. Santa knew a lot about dogs. For instance, they can't fly. But as it was time to go, he decided to give Olive a chance. Comet, the biggest reindeer, used a piece of extra ribbon to make sure Olive was tied in a safe, tied in safe and tight. Now they were ready to go. Who's your, who's your favorite reindeer? Comet. Comet's your favorite one? He's the biggest reindeer. The book says so. Olive was surprised it was so easy to fly. He's just hanging. Just hanging out. <laughs> Why the other reindeer fly? Yeah. The other reindeer were very curious about the new helper. They looked at Olive so much, they weren't watching where they were going. Ooh. It's a bad deal, isn't it? Oh, thanks. Well, that's this why, must. That's I, why I whispered. Oh. Uh, crash! They flew s smack into the top of a too tall tree. Oh dear! Know. Said Santa. My sleigh is stuck in this tree. I'll have to cut it free. Olive clung to the side of the tree. She tried to fly up to help Santa, but she could not. She climbed up slowly and started chewing. Chewing sticks was something. 
Olive could do well. Thank you, Olive, said Santa Claus as they got back on their way. They had not, not traveled far when Olive's nose began to twitch. Olive smelled trouble. There was a smell of gumdrop candies as they fell from the sleigh. Drop, drop, drop. Olive barked and Santa knew what to do. He steered the reindeer down and around so that all the gumdrops fell. Plop, plop, plop. Back into the toy stack. You don't have to say it if you don't want to. You don't have to. We were, lucky, we were very lucky to not lose a single gumdrop, thought Olive. Then she heard a strange sound. It was the musical note. E. She spun around her string to see the night sky filled with falling flutes. Olive had to howl louder than the wind instruments. This was not music to Santa's ears. First gumdrops and now flutes, thought Santa. That tree must have torn a hole in my sled. Prepare for emergency landing, Santa instructed. The sleigh landed in a snowy field full of flutes. Luckily, Olive was very good at fetching sticks. It is something dogs love to do. Before Santa had finished packing, patching the hole in the sleigh, Olive had returned each and every flute back to the sack. Ho, 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 said Santa. We're ready to go. Tell you what, that black pen on that dark blue page is hard to read. Do you see that? Do you see the words? Do you see the words? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. a little bit tough they were running late but after a while all the good children received their presents and Santa and his team headed home it is Santa they were almost home when they got caught in the dreaded North Pole fog the reindeer slowed down until it was the only breeze that moved them along. That fog was as thick as a pillow. It made everyone feel sleepy. Then Santa remembered something about dogs. They are expert smellers. Olive, I'd hate to be late for breakfast this year, said Santa. Mrs. Claus has planned a parade of cookies. Mmm, you can almost smell them, can't you? Olive could smell the cookies. Olive, won't you guide my sleigh this morning? Asked Santa. Olive moved to the front of the reindeer. Are you tired? Perfect. Thanks to Olive's nose and Mrs. Claus' baking, they made it all the way back to the North Pole. All of the elves sang out a cheer. Hooray! Hooray! Santa and the reindeer and the little doggy are back. That's what it says. Santa and the reindeer and the little doggy are back. That's I what it know, says. I know it says dog. I know it says dog. Oh. I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> but he's now in the reindeer. Oh, yeah. So we can't say. Back at the North Pole, it was a glorious morning. After eating lots of good food, it was time to open presents. The reindeer got jump ropes and the elves got toy trains. Santa reached into his toy sack. There was just one present left. It was for Olive. It was her very own set of reindeer antlers. They fit perfectly. Then everyone went outside to play reindeer games. The end. That's it. We nailed it. You got anything to say tonight? You can tell them. We're live. Sing it. All of the elves and reindeer, the famous reindeer of all, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Jingle Bells, 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 Jingle Open sleigh. Hey. What's your uh, what's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, jingle it is, bells. It is jingle bells. Sweet. 
Because I'm not allowed to sing it. Was that what you just sang? You nailed it then. You nailed You knew every word. You know what my new favorite Christmas song is, I think? What? It's, uh, it's called Hallelujah Christmas. It's awesome. <laughs> then we can play that one night live, we think. You ready? You ready to tell them good night? You just thought of something? You can just say it. Um, we can just ride at Grand and Grandpa's and we, can, and we can play some music from the piano. From, are you going to play music from the piano or you mean to sing it or play a famous song? I, I'm going to do the piano okay. so we can play Jingle Bells. Alright, so we're going to have a 13 days of Christmas this year. The 12 days of Christmas, like, which ends on Christmas Eve, is going to 13. It's going up a day this year, isn't it? Keep your tongue in your mouth, silly girl. Alright. Mm. We're out of here. We're out like a light. Are you tired? Tell everybody good night. Dave, David Bain says great job. Good night, Papa. And Uncle Joe and Aunt Sarah and Aunt Nana and everybody.